Welcome to Organist Launchpad. My name is Janet Yeh, and I'm based in New York City as an organist, director of music, and co-founder of Amplify Female Composers, a platform that seeks to encourage the performance of sacred music by women composers and arrangers. My interest in this subject came about through a series of graduate projects at Yale University at the Institute of Sacred Music there. One was a seminar presentation on French organist Jean de Monsieur, and another was research into Spanish nuns of the 14th through 17th centuries in the Castilian region and their deep cultural impact as composers, skilled performers, and music educators. The focus of today's Organ Launchpad talk is Amplifying Women Composers in the Organist's Repertoire. We'll take a chronological tour at the macro level from the Renaissance on through living composers, predominantly based in the Western canon. And I will introduce names to remember as well as examples of approachable repertoire and helpful resources for ongoing discovery. Let's begin with composers of the Renaissance. Though as Calvert Johnson notes, quote, there is considerable iconographic evidence from antiquity of the activities of women organists, end quote, from the second to fourth centuries around the Roman Empire, many of them clearly Christian because decorated images and inscriptions appear on their sarcophagi depicting the organ. During the Renaissance, monasteries and convents were rich cultural centers for art. We have not only fragments, but libraries full of scores, arrangements, and sacred music written by nuns for their daily use. Women of every social class and level of education entered convents and brought with them instruments and training. Until 1563, when the Council of Trent more strictly required Catholic nuns to stay within convent walls, they were public-facing neighborhood music teachers. And there were records that even well into the 16th and 17th centuries, popular music such as new opera overture melodies would find their way into nuns' handwritten notes for church services. The organ certainly featured heavily as a continual instrument and would have been played for daily masses. But because of the cloister, many convent libraries have yet to be cataloged and some keyboard works are just now being correctly attributed and being made publicly available. Italian Renaissance nun organists of note include Raffaella and Vittoria Aleate, Caterina Assandra, and Isabella Leonarda. Here now is an organ solo, Ave Verum Corpus, by Caterina Assandra, an Italian Benedictine nun who lived from 1590 to 1618, whose motets and organ works were published in Milan and featured beyond Italian borders in German publications. This piece can be found in the book Organ Music by Women Before 1800, edited by Calvert Johnson.
That was Ave Verum Corpus by Italian Renaissance composer Caterina Assandra. Join us for the next segment, turning to the Baroque and Classical period. <laughs> 